Hello everyone, good day for all. Welcome back to another episode of Ayur Samveda, a smart way to Ayurveda. I am Dr. Kavya Vasudev and you are watching Steady Ashtanga Hridaya series. Please subscribe to my channel and enable the bell button for continuous updates in Samhita. In the last videos, we were discussing about Dvitha Upakramani Adhyaya and we have seen what are the Dvitha Upakramas that is Lenghana and Brimana and what are the properties and what are the types and ha what happens if we uh, are using excessive of Brimana Karma and what are the management uh, we can do in such conditions. If you have not watched those videos, please click the i button to access it. Moving with the uh, same chapter. Next is Adi Lenghana Lakshana. What are the Lakshanas or the symptoms which we can see if we are administering Lenghana in excessive manner? Adi Karsham Brahmaha Kasas Trishna Adhikya Marochakaha Sneha Akmi Nidra Dhrit Srotra Shukrojaha Kshud Swarakshayaha Basti Hridmutra Jankha Uru Trika Parsha Rujajwara Pralapa Urthwanila Glani Chardi Parvasti Bhedanam Vin Mutra Adi Grahadhyascha Jayante Adi Vilanghanat Adhikarsham, Brahmaha, Kasa, Trishna, Dhikyam, Arochaka, Sneha, Akni, Nidra, Drik, Srotra, Shukra, Oja, Kshut, Swara, Kshaya, Basti, Hrit, Murtha, Jankha, Uru, Trika, Parshva, Ruja, Jvaraha, Pralapa, Urtva, Anila, Glani, Chardi, Parva, Asti, Bhetanam, Vid, Mutra, Grahadhyaha, Cha, Jayante, Ati, Vilankhanat. So the lakshanas which we can see if we are administering lenghana in excessive quantity that is adhikarsha that is profound emaciation can be seen brahma that is delusion or dizziness then kasa kaf trishna dhikya that is uh, severe thirst arojaka anorexia sneha agni nidra drik srotra shukra oja kshut swara kshaya that is kshaya or uh, loss or decrease in all these factors that is decrease in snehana that is uh, the anxious nature or oily nature uh, will be eliminated akni that is akni uh, deepti will not be there that is akni mantyada will be uh, seen if we are going for adi lankana the nidra uh, the sleep will be reduced drik that is the vision uh, will be affected srotra hearing will be affected shukra the semen uh, will be affected oja that is the vital component of our sharira that also will be getting affected kshut that is the hunger as already it has been mentioned akni nasha will be happening thus the kshut also will be reducing that is the hunger or appetite will get reduced and swarakshaya that is the uh, sound will be getting uh, difference in uh, voice hoarseness of voice such all deformities can be seen Basti hrit murtha jankha uru triga parshva ruja that is ruja that is pain in all these uh, areas can be seen that is pain in the basti pain in the hridaya murtha jankha uru triga and parshva so these are the few lakshanas which we can see and then jwara that is the fever can be seen pralapa that is delirium or excessive of stock or irrelevant speech can be seen urthvanila that is belching glani exhaustion chardi vomiting parva asti bhetanam that is cutting type of pain in the joints and bonds can be seen vinmutra grahadya and non elimination of urine feces etc can also be seen if we are going for excessive lenghana therapy next is sthaulya karsha chikitsa that is generally what all things we should do for a sthaulya person as well as a krisha person is being mentioned Karshimeva varam sthaulyat na hi sthoolasya bheshajam brimmanam lenghanam naalam ati medo aknivadajit. Karsham eva varam sthaulyat na hi sthoolasya bheshajam brimmanam lenghanam na alam ati medo aknivadajit. So here it is mentioned both the management of Sthaulya and Krisha and it is told that Karsham Eva Varam Sthaulya compared to Sthula or compared to Sthaulya Avastha Krishata is very easy for management that is emaciation Karshada is better than obesity is mentioned na hi sthulasya bheshajam as there is no medicines for bhesh, uh, sthula or it is very difficult to manage the 
sthula also brahmanam lankhanam na alam atimedo aknivadajit so in a condition of sthula or ati sthula meda akni and vada is going to get aggravated or we there are don't uh, there are no other measures which can uh, reduce all these uh, things together so brahmana and lankhana both cannot be uh, easily uh, tackle all these things that is ati meda akni and vada thus there are no much uh, easy therapeutic measures to reduce the ati sthaulya thus it is considered that karsha is very uh, easy for management that is by using the brahmana therapies or nourishment we can make the karsha person somewhat more uh, nourished or uh, pushti can be attained but uh, and also the other complications which are related to brahmana is also very uh, severe or that this thula person is having various uh, severe complications associated with him so it is very difficult to manage the thula avastha so better uh, comparing these two better avastha is the karsha avastha so karsha meva varam sthaulyam comparing the sthula and krsha avastha the krshata or karsha avastha is better and nahi sthulasya bheshajam and there is no easy management for the sthula also or nahi bheshajam bheshajam means the medicines there are no ultimate medicines which can cure the sthula that now various therapies managements everything are mentioned but it all takes time and it all needs uh very much um, accuracy as well as we need to be uh, very uh, dedicated to that within a short span we can't attain the krishata or karshata and for uh, losing the weight also it takes much time for that so there is uh, no treatment for the obese is being mentioned and even brahmana and lankhana is not able to tackle the adimeda agni and vada in an effective way so all these are included and where there are several other complications related to that so in all considering all these uh, conditions we can consider that krsha or karsha is very easy for the management then again a uh, few more ch uh, chigilsas for sthaulya and karsha has been mentioned madhura snigdha sauhitir yet saukhena vinashyati krshima sthavima atyanta viparita nishevanaihi madhura snigdha sauhityehi yet saukhena vinashyati krshima sthavima atyanta viparita nishevanaihi so the krshima vinashyati krshima here refers to the karsha people or krshata so krshima vinashyati the krshata or karshata will be getting emas uh, getting cured by the use of madhura snigdha sauhitye so by um, continuous exposure or continuous consumption of madhura and snigdha aharas then the person will be uh, getting or uh, cured of the krshata and saukhena that is comfortable living also helps in uh, give, giving the pushti or uh, eliminating the krshima or the krshata so madhura snigdha sauhitya sauhitya here refers to continuous practice is uh, sauhitya or that which is being accustomed is considered as sauhitya who which is being uh, practiced that is sauhitya so who is practicing all the time or who is consuming regularly madhura and snigdha haras and saukhena that is the comfortable living without taking much uh, burden or without much in take uh, much taking much uh, stress Uh, a comfortable life or easy life will lead to the uh, elimination of the krishata and sthavima atyanta viparita nishevanaihi and sthavima here refers to the sthula people and or sthaulya avastha so atyanta viparitehi whatever has been mentioned for the krsha chigilsa exactly opposite chigilsas we have to do in the sthaulya condition next is karsha chigilsa so we have seen what are the conditions or the lakshanas which we can see when we are doing the lankhana in excessive quantity next is karsha chigilsa that is excessive uh, lankhana will lead to the krshata avastha or adikarshita will be produced so if such adikarsha avastha is being produced then what are the uh, chigilsas what we can do in such conditions is being mentioned that is karsha chigilsa योजयेत् ब्रह्मण त्र सर्व पानाभेशज अचिंत्या हर्षन ध्रुव सदर्पण स्वप्न प्रसंगा कृशो वराह पुष्य सो योजयेत् ब्रह्मण त्र सर्व पानाभेशज अचिंत्या हर्षन ध्रुव सदर्पण स्वप्न प्रसंगा कृशो वराह इव पुष्य 
So what all things we have to do if there is Krishada or if Karshata is present. Yo jayet brimmanam tatra sarvam pana anna bheshajam. So if a person is Krisha, we have to do the management. We have to do, go for the brimmana line of management. And all the pana, anna and bheshaja should be brimmana in nature or it should be nourishing in nature. That is the pana, anna and bheshaja. That is the what all things he is drinking, what all things he is eating and what all medicine since he is consuming all these pana anna bheshaja should be brahmana in nature or should be santarpana in nature that is it should be nourishing in nature and krisho varaha iva pushyati and here one example of simile has been given that is if we are doing certain things or if we are uh, following uh, certain guidelines then even the krisha that is even the emaciated people can become pushyati varaha iva pushyati that is he can become a nourished or a robust as that of a beer so varaha here refers to a beer or a pig so it is uh, stout and and very uh, well nourished and very bulky nature so even an emaciated person can become like a beer boar or a pig if he is following certain things that is a chintya by absence of worry not in involving in too much of worries or too much of stress or too much of thinking then uh, it can lead to the happiness and uh, that by that way he can uh, become a brahmana Harshanena, that is by happiness, without uh, thinking too much, without taking very much uh, sadness or sorrowness, he can become uh, pushya, pushyati like uh, varaha. Then dhruvam sandarpanena, uh, all the time he is taking nutritious foods or sandarpana type of foods are he is taking or brimmana type of food is being consumed, then uh, he can achieve that uh, pushti. Then swapna prasankat, more of sleep also will help in attaining that pushyati just like of a varaha. So all the time the pana, anna and bheshaja should be of brimmana in nature or sandarpana in nature for a krisha. And also if he is following a chintya, harshana, dhruvam santarpana, dhruvam here refers to more of or uh, continuously or uh, frequently he is using santarpana aharas, then swapna prasangat. Indulging in more of sleep, such all things, the uh, Krishna person can become like a Varaha. That is, he will get the Pushti like that of a Varaha. Then next is the Lankhana Dravyas. So, to in order to uh, do a Lankhana Karma, we need uh, certain um, Lankhana Dravyas. So, what all things can be used or what all Dravyas we can uh, use in order to uh, treat a particular person who has undergone this Adi Lankhana and if a person is Karsha, what all Dravyas we can administer in order to make him the Pushti. So, Nahi Mamsa Samam Kinjit Anya Deha Brihatvakrit Mamsada Mamsam Mamsena Sambhradatva Visheshataha Nahi Mamsa Samam Kinjit Anya Deha Brihatvakrit Mamsada Mamsam Mamsena Sambhradatva Visheshataha So, here it is being mentioned about the Chigilsa for uh, Krishata uh, saying So, Nahi Mamsa Samam Kinjit Anya Deha Brihatvakrit There is nothing uh, good than other than the meat which helps in the brahmana karma and mamsada mamsam mamsena sambhradatva visheshataha and among the meat itself the meat of carnivorous animals is considered to be the best that is mamsada mamsam because mamsena sambhradatva visheshataha that is it the animal is feeding on a particular animal or feeding on the mamsa itself thus the meat of this carnivorous animal is considered to be the vishesha or special for uh, treating the lenghana or treating the ati karsha that is in order to get the brimmana or in order to get the pushti mamsa is considered as the best dravya and in that uh, the carnivorous animals meat is considered as the best then again sthaulya and karsha chigilsa is uh, summarized here so, Guru Chattarpanam Sthule Viparitam Hitam Krishe Yava Godhuma Mubhayo Tad Yoga Hidakalpanam Guru Chattarpanam Sthule Viparitam Hitam Krishe Yava Godhuma Mubhayo Tad Yoga Hidakalpanam so here guru cha atarpanam sthule so for sthula guru and atarpana has to be uh, followed that is guru aharas and um, 
uh, atharpana that is uh, which is not that much nutritious but it should uh, maintain the uh, nutrition that is it's not like santarpana but it is not apatharpana also such kinds of aharas has to be administered for stola and viparitam hitam krishe and opposite uh, kind of uh, aharas that is that which is very much uh, santarpana such kind of aharas should be administered to the krisha and eva godhumam ubhayoho tat yogya hidakalpanam and eva and godhuma that is barley and wheat are considered as uh, which can be indicated for both which can be administered for both krisha as well as the uh, uh, sthaulya and it has to be processed as uh, which is condition based on the condition it has to be processed well and based on that it has to be administered so how we are preparing how much old that uh, cereal is so such all things matters when we are taking it into consideration for a stola or uh, krisha so this both eva and godhuma we can administer for both krisha and stolya but there are certain conditions of uh, things which we have to take care of so guru and atarpana is the line of management for stola and viparitam hitam krisha and all the opposite things we can uh, administer for the krisha people so in the starting of this chapter it has been mentioned that dvithopakramas are told and uh, there are certain other uh, shatupakramas are mentioned but we can consider all those shatupakramas in the dvithopakramas has been mentioned so the same thing is being um, concluded here dosha gatya adirichyante grahi bhedyadi bhetatah upakrama na tu ditva bhinna api gada iva so dosha gatya atirichyante grahi bhedyadi bhetatah upakrama na tu ditva bhinna api gada iva so there are different types of uh, stages of doshas or states of doshas that is dosha gatis are mentioned dosha gatya adirichyante there are various types of dosha gatis that is especially uh, three types of dosha gatis are there three types of roga margas are there so different types of gatis of doshas are there doshas will be either vritha avastha or uh, uh, kshaya avastha or in the sama avastha or it may be chaya prakopa prashamana so various uh, stages of this doshas are present and doshas will be moving in different uh, uh, gatis it will be having different roga margas but in spite of all those things grahi bhedyadi bhetah and uh, there are innumerable kinds of management also like uh, already the shadupakramas has been mentioned snehana rukshana stambana svedana then there are different other management therapies like grahi bhedya lekhana such different other therapies are also there so different uh, dosha gadis are there different uh, management uh, treatments are there but these all we can consider into two types that is uh, dvita upakrama that is lekhana and brimana so that is being considered here that is apigata eva that is all the diseases it may be because of the dosha vritti or it may be because of the dosha kshaya though there are different roga margas or there there are different uh, types or uh, stages of the doshas uh, ama avasthas are there nirama avasthas are there various stages are there or various uh, types are there but all these we can consider ultimately as because of either dosha vritti or dosha kshaya or it will be because of the doshas so similarly all these managements whatever managements are there we can consider or we can conclude it in under this dvitha upakrama that is lankhana and brahmana so this is how this chapter ends it has been told in the starting that only there are two types of upakramas that is lankhana and brahmana and uh, this uh, brahmana and lankhana uh, therapies has been explained in detail and what are the complications of this lankhana and brahmana if we are excessively using it and the management of sthula and krisha has also been mentioned and finally they have again concluded what are the um, general measures of treating the sthula and krisha so this uh, the 14th chapter ends here idi sri vaidyapadi simha gupta suna श्रीमद वाघड विरचितायाम अष्टांग हृदय संहितायाम सूत्रस्थाने द्विविधोपक्रमणीयो नाम चतुर्दशो अध्याय टुडे वी हैव कंप्लीटेड द फोर्टींथ चैप्टर ऑफ अष्टांग हृदय सूत्रस्थाना दट इज द्विविधोपक्रमणीय अध्याय एंड विल बी मूविंग विद द नेक्स्ट चैप्टर इन द अपकमिंग वीडियोज फॉर मोर अपडेट्स मेक श्योर यू सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड फॉलो द इंस्टाग्राम अकाउंट थैंक यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो टिल देन बाय Thank you.